Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Coming to you right from my dining room. What is this? Our dining room. Dining room. And today I wanted to show you guys some ab workouts that you could do at home that are actually so much better than killing your back with sit-ups or leg raises. Like you guys saw in my first ever video, I did at-home ab workouts and it was all a lot of stuff based off of your back and with a little bit of cardio intertwined. But here, I kind of want to focus more on resistance and really just want to stress your core because that's what supports your lower back. That's what's going to help you prevent yourself from having any back problems further along the road. So today, I'm going to show you guys a couple ab workouts that I like using two towels. And I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you do, on Brett Cat Fit, I posted a workout with these things called furniture movers or sliders, whatever they're called. And basically they're used to put under heavy things and slide for movers, but you could use them with your sneakers too. And I know now they also come out with stuff that goes on your shoes to help slide. But this is something that's very cheap to do. All I used was two towels and I'm not gonna be wearing any shoes. And you can see right now, I don't need to be in a gym to do it. I don't need to be with a trainer to do it. I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it right in the comfort of your own home. So, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so for the first movement today, I'm gonna to be using the towels with my hands, showing you guys a few different movements. But for those of you that are gonna be on your knees, don't forget, you need some type of surface like this, a slick surface, so your knees might hurt if you don't put something underneath them. I'm using a small, Chief's towel, all right, to help with my knees just so it doesn't kill my kneecaps. But I suggest you guys do the same if you have any type of blanket, roll it up, all right? And then what you're gonna be doing is just putting your hands, spread out your fingers, put them right on here, like you're palming a basketball, all right? One at a time. This is good for your chest. at the same time like we just saw and these types of movements will work your core and as you see cause stress to your arms your chest all right and switch it up a little yeah. 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 put your feet on the towel and you can come up time. Keep your head up. Like mountain climbers, right? Side to side. These are hard. Widen your hands. Windmills. Back in, run, low to the ground, all right, come through, bring your knee to your elbow. Other side. Exhale when you come and crunch in, so. Out. You guys might have seen me do this in an ab workout video at home before, but just basically before like what we did, in short choppy motions all the way down, then back up. Come down to the point where you feel it. You can even come back up, go back down, but just keep going until you feel it in your core. Especially when you have a wall in front of you and you don't let yourself hit that wall, you're adding a resistance to the movement. So just keep doing short choppy movements until you feel it in your core. That is a really good workout for your abs and I suggest you guys try all the variations of both with your hands with your feet side to side using as much creativity as possible but staying safe with your movements obviously if you guys suffer with lower back pain any knee problems 
any history you have with pre-existing injuries, make sure you talk to your doctor, make sure these are cool, but definitely something I would recommend for those of you at home who don't want to go to the gym but still want to get a great workout. As you see, in the last five minutes, I broke a crazy sweat. I don't have a shirt on, so it's not just me. It's not hot in here, all right? These are the movements that work and render results. I'm gonna list the recommended sets and reps for these movements in the description box. Also, don't be shy, drop me a comment below and any other type of workout videos you guys wanna see in the future. And for another workout video, my name is Brett Cap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Big boy on the floor.